guys, it's Matthew. It is a beautiful December 1st day, and I realize it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I'd go ahead and do that. I'd also like to thank all the new subscribers I've been getting. I hope you guys can find something useful with the videos I'm making. Uh, but anyways, let's take a look at what's going on behind the blue door. Now, if you remember from the last project, I had a bunch of seedlings in rock wool cubes. Now, I was probably a little bit slow with adding the plants into the system, and they were seedlings for a long time without any nutrients, so they never really started to grow. Once I moved them into the system, uh, I added the nutrient, and I did see some growth. But I also did see uh, a few problems with uh, the plants. I don't think it was anything major, but I think if you look at the plants, you can tell that they might have had a little bit of uh, nutrient burn. And you can tell that it's nutrient burn because the leaves are a little bit yellow. There are uh, some of the leaves even have a bit of, uh, they look like little dots, where when I added some nutrient to the cubes, I probably splashed some on the leaves and then they burnt. But all the new leaves that are coming up, they're looking good and green. So I don't think I've really hurt the plants in any way, but it's just something to think about when you're adding nutrient to your plants that you're not adding too much and you're not really splashing it onto the leaves of the plant. Now there were three seedlings that I didn't put into the flood table and that was because I have another plan for those guys and I'll get to that in a second. Uh, I did however add some nutrient water to the cubes and you can tell how nutrient rich the water is because the top of the cubes have actually started to grow green algae and that really isn't a good thing but uh, hopefully once we get these covered up with uh, some hydrogen they, the algae will die down. These plants are also really overdue for a transplant and you can tell because they're really tall and scraggly looking and hopefully once we get these moved into a bigger uh, system they'll start to do a lot better. Uh, you can tell that there's quite a bit of little roots showing through the bottom of the cube. Uh, that's a good sign too, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where these things are going. So to the right of me you'll see I have a little suspended light and some five gallon buckets. So this is it. This is just your everyday five gallon bucket. I went to my local hydroponics store, I picked up a lid for this thing. And these lids are designed for to fit uh, a normal standard five gallon bucket. It's got a little net pot on here. And we're gonna try to grow some plants in this using a deep water culture hydroponic system. And yes, I realize it might not be the best thing to be growing plants in a bucket that once held 15W40 motor oil, but I am that cheap a guy. So there are a bunch of different ways that you could do a DWC deep water culture uh, hydroponic system. I'm going to cover, try to explain a little bit better the simplest way that I can think of to do one. So you're just going to have your five gallon bucket. Inside that bucket you're going to have your water or your water mixed with your nutrient solution. At the bottom of your bucket you're going to have an air stone. That air stone will be connected to an air pump. Covering the top of your five gallon bucket, you're going to have a net pot. And inside that net pot, you will have your hydrogen and also your whatever you're growing inside a rock wool cube or even maybe just planted into the hydrogen. How this system works is once the pump is turned on, and when it's on it should stay on all the time, it's going to create bubbles. The bubbles are going to do two things. One, it's going to oxygenate your water. This is really important. And the second thing, which is important, especially when you have your seedling just starting out in your system, is when the bubbles get to the surface, they're going to pop. When the bubbles pop, they're going to create a little bit of a splash, and this is going to get your hydrogen wet. This is then going to get your plant roots wet. So as your plant is starting out, it's getting the nutrient. And then as the roots grow, 
they'll grow down into the nutrient solution and you're pretty much set from that point on. Now I have three buckets so I'm going to try to chain th the three of them together. I'm going to have an air stone in each one. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, prepping my system getting everything ready. Uh, all I needed was uh, for mine I got three five gallon buckets I have three of the five gallon uh, net pot lids I have some air hose I have three air stones one pump because I'm using one pump I'm going to try to uh, use some connector valves and T's so that uh, I can get away with it hopefully it works these ones actually have little regulators on top of them if you don't have that and you're trying to split uh, your air stones between buckets, you could even maybe try just the regular splitter or connector. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So there we go, we're all done. That was a pretty easy build. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work yet. Still have to add the plants and add the nutrient solution. Uh, I'm going to save that for another video. Somebody posted a question about how to go about mixing your nutrient solution, so I figured I will cover that as well as putting the plants into the bucket system here in that video. So hope to see you on the next one and thanks for watching.